far as the EOSIO development, we basically poached their entire senior engineering team that was building EOSIO because they wanted to work on public blockchains. That's what they signed up for when they joined Block One. And then they got assigned to the Bullish Project. And a big reason why Dan decided to leave was because they were gutting out almost all of the blockchain components from it. And that was back in, what, when did he resign? Late 2020. So it's been another year and a half since then. And more and more of the EOSIO components have likely kind of been gutted out. So that was, that was a big reason why the engineers wanted to kind of jump ship was because the opportunity to continue working on EOSIO was there. They spent years mastering the craft and building EOSIO from the ground up since before 1.0 in a lot of cases. And they wanted to continue working on EOSIO. So the only way to continue to do so in the way that they envisioned when they originally signed up was to join the EOS Network Foundation. Now they are our core engineering team.